important occasion, the unveiling of our statue. On behalf of Mrs. Cruz, on behalf of the uh, Lewis Cruz Memorial Committee, we want to thank all of you for coming out. I know some of you came from the breakfast. You came right over here. I appreciate you uh, persevering and coming uh, to uh, witness this occasion. And of course, we have some former players, quite a few former players. I am glad to see you out. My name is Thomas Jones. They call me TJ. I'm the chair of the, uh, of the committee. I guess uh, my claim to fame is being a part of the 1966 championship team. And of course, I, I feel I had a positive role in the success of that team. <laughs>
and Flo proceeds to unplug the robot. I have walked the hills of Alabama A&M since 1986, heard great and marvelous things about Coach Cruz, observed him on the sidelines during practice with Coach Green. So I think, without a doubt, we can sum up his life and his legacy, his influence, by the words of Flo. He's pretty good. He's pretty good. Let's go. Father, we thank you for this day in the life of Coach Cruz, his family, and Alabama a and Lord, we thank you for allowing him to be a part of this family. Thank you for allowing him to make a, such a significant impact on and off the field. And Father, we simply ask this day that this watch will remind those who know him and those who are in the future hear about his legacy. But Father, I ask above all that those who labor with him will be representative of his character, his determination, his desire to see young men, young boys go up to be men. We pray, O oh God, that you will bless this nation that will honor his name, his legacy. In Christ's name we pray. Next, we have a music selection by Mr. Frankie Smith. He's the director of intramurals, a former assistant football coach, a former player, and a former National Football League player. Thank you, Frankie. Now we're going to move into the beat of our program. I promise you that we weren't going to hold you very long. And our next speakers, they're going to make, make the truth out of you. Because they, they're not going to be very long. And how we're going to do this, I'm going to uh, introduce each speaker. Uh, and it's going to be these four over here first. And as I, when I sit down, they will come up uh, right after each other. First one is uh, our Honorable M. Lynn Sherrod from Madison County, uh, uh, from, from the Madison County District Judge, Judgeship. She's the chairman of the Lewis Cruz Classic Foundation, uh, Classic uh, uh, Committee, I'm sorry. Next we have uh, Mr. Gene Wright, Coach Gene Wright. Uh, he's a retiree. He's the chair of the Lewis Cruz Players Committee that goes along with the Classic. He's a former athletic director, and he was one of Cruz's assistant coaches. John Stallworth. John is a former football main foot football player from the National Football League. He was also a former player up under Coach Cruz. And I guess I should say, I guess he was his favorite son, based on what he accomplished. And lastly, in this group, we have Mr. Brian Hicks, our new director of athletics, Alabama A&M. This is Gerard. To God, I give the glory. And good morning to each of you. I bring you greetings on behalf of the Lewis Cruz Committee and also our partner this year, the Hall of Fame Committee. Thank you very much for coming out. The events of the Lewis Cruz Classic have gone off extremely well this year. We began with a praise and worship service last Sunday. You had an opportunity to definitely get your praise on by worshiping the Lord. The breakfast this morning was a huge success. It brought on at least one surprise, Coach Jones. You did not tell me that I was going to be the recipient, but publicly let me say thank you, thank you, thank you. I invite you to join us for the remainder of the activities, including the Hall of Fame induction banquet on Friday night including a reception for the returning crews players on Saturday and the Bulldog Walk. The Bulldog Walk will include walking with the players to take our stadium because we plan to keep it at 6 p.m. and throughout the game on Friday evening. The Lewis Cruz Classic was dedicated to honoring Coach Cruz to celebrating football and recognizing the achievement of the student athletes that currently play football at Alabama a 
We very much appreciate your support. We appreciate your support in each of these activities. And I look forward to seeing you dressed in your maroon and white on Saturday evening at 6 p.m. for kickoff of the third annual Lewis Cruz Classic Football Game. Thank you.
And so we promise to continue the legacy of commitment, character, respect, competitiveness, as John Good, as our program continues to grow. And behind every excellent and great man is an excellent, great woman. So we're very thankful for what you've done, and we congratulate you. And to all of you who have come today, thank you. We look forward to seeing you this weekend. Let's go Bulldogs. Very good. All the speakers cooperated. <laughs> Next, we're going to have Mr. Chris Robinson, trustee, 5th Con Con Congressional District, Alabama a &M. He is also uh, kind of overseeing sports from that perspective. Now, I don't know Chris personally, but I do know his father. We attended a &M together. Chris Robinson. Thank you, sir, and I'm going to be very short. Thank God for another day. Thank you to the committee for the invitation. And on behalf of the trustee board, we greatly accept this invitation. To Mrs. Cruz, thank you. To Dr. Buchanan. To all of our elected officials, uh, the Memorial Bus Committee, past players of Coach Cruz, our AD Hicks, former AD Austin, Coach Jones, and all of the supporters of Alabama a and University, thank you again to the Bus Committee for completing this project. Coach Cruz touched several lives. He also touched several students on the field and off the field. He coached my father in baseball, and growing up on the hill, I was reminded of the various things Coach Cruz did. In speaking to Mrs. Cruz, they actually came back to the hill, and it's actually a pay cut. Imagine that. Some of you go back to a place where you grew up for a pay cut. That's for you to decide. That. But that shows the love that Coach Cruz had for Alabama and University. In closing, I want to say, may this bus stand as a reminder on how we all should support our student athletes on the field and off the field. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. Now we get to. Uh, our illustrious president, uh, Dr. Getty. Now, I, I must say this, we, uh, we, we were supposed to and we wanted to unveil this bus last year, the last football season. Of course, in the meantime, we had a change in president, so we had to kind of back up a little bit and we had to go to Dr. Getty's office and get his blessing and know what was happening. And uh, I must tell you that uh, he didn't miss a beat. He agreed with us 100%. But he said, but, he said, but, a man of this stature deserves a full stature. And we were talking about a bus. And uh, he wanted us to go back and put more pay up and to see if we could raise that, raise that money. Now, uh, Dr. Higgins, I must say to you, in my mind, if we had gotten real close, I was thinking that now my man was going to kick in the rest. I have to say. <laughs> but that didn't happen. So here we are today. So, Dr. Hibbert. Thank you, uh, Mr. Jones. I want to thank you for your leadership and thank you for sticking in there uh, with this task. It's very, very important that we take the time to remember people and the greatness that they have done. To all of his players and supporters and to his lovely wife and their family, we thank you for sharing Coach Cruz with us. There's a poem and the poem is entitled Dash. What the poem talks about are two significant dates. The date of one's birth and the date of one's death. But what's important is not those two days, but it's that dash that's in between. Because the dash is what we really have an impact on. We cannot affect our birth or death, but we can affect the dash. And we are here today because there was a man whose name was Lewis Cruz that affected his dash. And he did that the many
many lives that you touched. Many of those persons are here today. So we thank God that there lived a Louis Cruz. Spent the time filling in that dash. You know I like the prostitutes and no comments will be complete without them. And so I come with a little prostate about Coach Cruz I'd like to share with you that fits in with that dash. The letter C represents his character, what he stood for in molding young men and young women into what they should be. Our resourcefulness, John just mentioned that. They had to do much with very little. And that should be an inspiration to all of us. The resources that we have, look what we can accomplish. And so he was resourceful. He, excellence. He demanded excellence of himself, and he demanded excellence of his players and those who he came in contact with. W, a man of wisdom. Wisdom, when you sit at the feet of greatness, to share with you lessons of life that always inspire you as you go forward. And then the letter S. I like to think of S in regards to the great motto of this university. And through his life, he demonstrated that service is sovereignty. So as we think about Coach Cruz, remember his character, his resourcefulness, his insistence on excellence, his wisdom, and his commitment to Alabama and the University to service its sovereignty. Thank you.
Belma Cruz. His parents made certain that he would grow and develop as an individual who was exposed to strong family values and the dependent importance of spiritual and ethical principles. The necessity of the A superlative education was almost a stimulating subject in the Cruz household. And young Lewis learned to respect the censor. He completed his basic education in the best part of him, where he graduated from the Dunbar High School in good academic standing. And as an excellent football athlete, Thank you. 